So I was just scrolling through Reddit like usual, and I ended up in r slash artificial intelligence. And then I saw this post saying Skywork AI topped the Gaia benchmark. That already sounded wild, because apparently it even ranked ahead of OpenAI's deep research. So yeah, that definitely got my attention. I checked the comments, and let's just say people had opinions. So I searched Skywork up. The website was on top, but honestly, who really trusts an AI just because the website ranks first? I kept scrolling and noticed they actually have a GitHub profile. Some of their stuff is open source too. We'll get into that later. The UI looks nice, but instead of trusting the hype, I wanted to test it myself. So today, I'm putting Skywork head to head against Google's AI Studio and seeing what actually holds up. Okay, let's give this AI a simple math equation and let it figure it out. And... Okay, that was pretty fast. It's also short, and we got the answer. Now, let's check on Gemini. And looks like it's quite big, but it explained every step one by one, which Skywork did not. Well, both got the same answer, but if we check on one gave just the answer with the steps, and another described every single steps, let's give them another one. Okay, Skywork again gave the answer in the same style. What about Gemini? looks like explained just how he did for the last one. Basically, one just does the work you gave, and another explains all step by step. So both AIs are okay with math questions, like both gave the correct answer and both were fast. The only difference was with the style. Skywork did it in short and simple, and Gemini went step by step, which some people do like. So point goes to both Gemini and Skywork. Okay. Now let's test how well it can actually build websites. I'll start with Skywork first. I dropped in the prompt, and yeah, let's let it cook for a bit. That took a moment. Okay, so here's the website. The hero section, it's all right. Nothing crazy, but it works. This part here actually looks nice. The hover effect with the background is clean and subtle. Oh, there's a breathing effect here. Kind of cool, not bad at all, though I feel like it could have been a little smoother. Scrolling down, yeah, this button hover effect is actually really clean. Overall, I'd say this is solid. It's usable, it looks fine, and some of the effects are genuinely nice, just not something that really wows me. All right, now let's switch over to Gemini. I've got pretty high hopes for this one. That was fast. Okay, it's asking for camera permission. Yeah, no camera, so we're skipping that. Looking at the hero section, yeah, this already looks better, like immediately. Scrolling down, this section's clean too. Oh wait, look at this. When I highlight elements, the colors actually change. Here, I can select exactly what I want to see, and everything responds properly. Even the footer looks decent this time, which, eh, I don't always say that. So comparing them side by side, it's pretty clear. Skywork did a good job. It works, it's usable, nothing's broken, and some of the effects are genuinely nice, but Gemini just feels more refined overall. The details, the color response, the hover behavior, the way everything flows together, it feels more thought out. So yeah, if I had to pick one for website building, Gemini takes this round. Okay, now let's test the poster feature. This is the part I was honestly most excited about. And I mean, just look at the pre-made examples. They already look really solid. All right, here's the first prompt. Let's let it do its thing. Okay, yeah, that's actually really nice. Look at how clean this is. The colors, the typography. It even matches the product down here really well, which is impressive. All right, now it's Banana's turn. Same prompt, let's see what it comes up with. That was fast. And honestly, this looks really good too. The colors, the shadows, this feels like something you could actually use in real life. Like this would work perfectly for social media or a real marketing post. Skyworks version feels clean and minimal, but this one has its own distinct style. Both follow the prompt really well, but this time I'm gonna give the point to Skywork. All right, last round. I'll start with Gemini this time. Same prompt, let's go. Interesting. I like the vector style look, the color choices, and how there's a character in the center with the sunset behind him and the shadow stretching down. It looks cool, but it feels less like a real movie poster and more like illustration. All right, now let's see what Skywork does with the same prompt.
Okay, yeah, there it is. This already feels like a real movie poster. The lighting, the shadows, the city in the background, it gives off that mysterious cinematic vibe instantly. Look at the light hitting the side of his coat. Even the texture on the wall and the way the shadows fall just sell it. Yeah, this one's a clear win. Skywork takes the point here. All right, so what's the final score? Honestly, it's a tie, but Skywork actually surprised me. It did way better than I expected. And with more detailed prompts, it can be genuinely useful. The fact that it's open source and has a mobile version is a big plus too. That alone makes it more accessible than Google AI Studio. Overall, across math, websites, and posters, it held up really well. If you want to see more side-by-side -side comparisons like this, let me know. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!